For our end of the year play, we're gonna do a performance of King Arthur this year. King Arthur? Cool! Can I be the king sir? And I'd like to be. Well, listen! I've already chosen who will play different parts. I think it will work better that way. So, oh, who's gonna be who? Tom, you will be King Arthur. Thank you, sir. Olivia, you will be the queen. The queen? Great, thanks. Charlotte, you will be the wizard. Okay, sir, do I get a wand? Of course. Jack, you will be the good knight. Okay. James, you will be the bad knight. The bad knight, okay. And Amy, you will be the bad knight's mother. She's a witch. Oh no, my mother's a witch. <laughs> <laughs> and me. Oh Ruby, I almost forgot. You will be the servant. Okay, you've all got your scripts. Read them carefully and I will see you on Wednesday. Then we will go through the script and do a first read through. This means you don't need to learn your, your script by heart. Just read it carefully so you can understand your part. All right, everyone. Sure. sure. Excuse me, sir. Ruby, I didn't get a script. Yeah, you don't need one. You're just a servant. You don't have any lines. In fact, you don't have to be here on Wednesday. We'll slot you in later. Is that okay? That's fine, sir. So, okay, everyone, see you on Wednesday. Sir? What is it, Ruby? Remember last year when we did Babs in the Wood? Yeah, it was a fine production. If I say so myself, I don't remember you being in it. I was, but when it's only a tree. When will I get a part of the lines? Maybe next year. But you said that last year, sir. Did I? Sorry, but if I give you somebody else's part, they'd be upset. You do understand, don't you? Yes, I understand. Good girl. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. What's this burning smell, Mom? Smell? What smell? Oh, that's your dinner, Ruby. It's on the stove. Can you go and get it yourself? We've got very little time. We're going out tonight. You're going out tonight? But I didn't know that. Didn't I tell you? No, you didn't. You must have forgotten then. We're both so busy, you see. Anyway, thanks for babysitting your little brother tonight. Babysitting? But mom, you know I have homework to do. We know, darling. But it's not for tomorrow, is it? No, it's not. That's good. But we've really got to go now. One more thing, you would remember, don't you, my place next week? Oh dear, we almost forgot. Derek, get your calendar out. Alright, when is it? Well, it's in three different days. Monday? Mmm, I can't. I've got my aerobics class. And I'm playing tennis. Wednesday? I'm sure that's a possibility, let me see. Wednesday? Sorry, I've got a guest for a business dinner. And I'm going to my swimming club. And Friday? Friday is no problem, is it Derek? Oh, how unfortunate. I am meeting my friends on Friday. I'll be in Paris. I won't be back before midnight. Really sorry, darling. Have you got a big role in the play, Ruby? No, I haven't. I am only a servant. Do you have any lines? No, I don't. It's not such a problem, is it? I promise I'll come when you have a real part. You don't understand, don't you? Yes, I understand. Good girl. Two tickets for the show on Saturday, please. Hi, Olivia. I'm queuing up for the tickets. Yeah, for the concert. No, no, don't worry. Yeah, sure, I will, give, I will get two tickets. No, no, no. There is only one person in front of me. Yeah, sure. I'll give you a ring. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Two tickets for Saturday, please. Oh, you're lucky, young lady. These are the last two tickets. And then we've sold out. But Celine, I wanted to see the show I promised it's my birthday gift. Yeah, I know. Look, he was looking for a word to the concert, and now we've got the last two tickets. Sorry, but... It's his birthday treat. I promised him. Don't worry, the same show will be again on two weeks' time. Well, that's not good for us. Two weeks' time, his birthday will be over. You don't mind selling us the tickets, do you? No, I don't. That's too kind. You do understand, don't you? Yes, I understand. Good girl. Yes. <laughs> right, that's enough. First, my drama teacher. Sorry, but it's too late now. If I give you somebody else's part, they'd be upset. You do understand, don't you? Then, mom and dad, who never have time for me. You do understand, don't you? 
And finally, I'm stupid enough to hand over the ticket that I got for the concert to people I never met before. You do understand, don't you? But I don't want to be everybody's good girl anymore. I don't want people to ignore my feelings all the time. I don't want to be the understanding one. It's almost like people are just ignoring me. As if I wasn't really there. As if people just didn't notice me. I've got an idea. If I do it, people will notice me. All right, let's get going. Does everyone know the lines? Yes, sir. Off we go. The thunder rumbles and the lightning flashes. And... <laughs> I've cast the spell and soon the kingdom shall be yours, my son. Oh, mother, I love you. You are so evil. Thank you, son. I try my best. Not so fast, you two. With my trusty sword, I'll defeat you both. You can never defeat me with my powerful magic. No, but with my powerful finger. I'll put a stop to your evil ways. Charlotte? Yes, sir. You appear to have forgotten something. Where's your wand? I don't get it, sir. That's ridiculous. I think I believe you. Let's move to the next scene in the king's castle. Tom, I'll leave you out when you're ready. My dear husband, I wonder if the wizard has defeated the evil witch. Patience, dear queen. I'm sure we'll get some good news soon. I'll call the servant to bring us some food and drink. Servant. Servant. Where's Ruby? She's not here, sir. Where's Ruby? I don't know. She should be back home by now, shouldn't she? I'm sure she'll be home soon. She's such a good girl. That's right. I just hope she hasn't forgotten. She needs to tidy up the living room for us. My guest will be here soon. Hi. Ruby, you must be joking. Joking? Why? Because that's not a servant's costume. What makes you think this is a costume, sir? Well, just look at yourself. I don't need to. I know what I look like. Come on, Ruby. Be our good girl. Take it off. We know you're just joking. Good joke, actually. Listen, this is not a joke, right? And I'm not taking this off ever. What? You're not taking it off? You mean you want to go to school like this? And walk around the neighborhood like this? That's right. But what? But what what? What will the neighbors say? What will the headmaster say? No idea what they will say. And I honestly don't care at all. Oh, Ruby. Be our good girl. We can't have a daughter who walks around like this. We can't have a student who walks around like this. You, you don't, don't understand, understand don't you? you? It's you who don't understand. I am not taking this off. This is me. And I don't care what you think. Live with it. I just don't understand her anymore. These past few weeks have been so difficult. Yeah, she was such a good girl. Just imagine what the neighbors must be saying about us. Don't remind me, please. It's so embarrassing. Who's that? I don't know. Oh no, it's Mr. Carter. He's probably coming to complain about Ruby. Well, let's pretend we're not here then. We can't. He's already seen me. Good evening, Mr. Carter. Please come in. I am lucky. You are at home. You are such busy people. Well, yes. Life's pretty hectic. I am here because of your daughter. Ruby? I knew it. What's the problem? Problem? There is no problem. I just wonder, daughter, you could give this to her, please. To Ruby? Mm, yes, sure, but she's not at home right now. Yes, I know it's Friday evening. I know she's never at home on Friday evening. Anyway, just give it to her. I must be off. See? They're all talking about her. It's Friday evening. She's never at home on Friday evening. It's terrible. Poor Mr. Carter came around tonight because he knew Ruby wouldn't be here. He must be terrified of her. It's the way she looks. Awful. What's in the bag, do you think? Maybe it's so. So she can wash the ridiculous war paint of her face. Listen. What? The front door is opening. Must be Ruby. Let's hide quickly. I want to see what's in the bag. Oh, a present, and it's for me. Can't be from my dad. I'm not the good girl anymore. Oh, cool jumper. Who's that from? Me? 
Dear Ruby, this is a little thank you present from us all. We are very proud that a young girl like you gives up so much time helping others. We hope you like that jumper. Love, Mr. Carter and your 12 other neighbors in Park Lane. 12 other neighbors? Oh, mom, you frightened me. I hadn't noticed you. And dad, you too? But I don't understand. Giving up so much of your time helping others, what's going on here? Well, you know Mrs. and Mr. Jones from house next door, don't you? Yeah, why? They're both very frail now, and they can't do much work at home. So? So I decided I'd help them a bit. Do some of housework and shopping and things. Hang on a minute. So when we think you go out and meet with your both friends, you're... Helping the Joneses? That's right. And they are very nice people. Mom, I really like them. And they are so grateful for the help. That's marvelous. Why didn't you tell us? If you'd said something, we've reacted differently. I didn't tell you because you're always so busy. Everybody in our street knew what you were doing, of course. Yeah, it was only us who didn't notice. We were too worried about how you looked and what the neighbors... Might be thinking of you. I'm sorry, Ruby. Me too. That's okay, Mom. Dad, at least I got your attention. So let me get this right, because we never listened to you. You became a goth. Yeah, I'm glad you understand. So that's Mr. Phillips, by the way. He's writing a script for a new play right now. It's about a vampire, and I am going to play in a main part. He says I look like a vampire. We'll be there, and you know what? We'll go out and uh, have dinner somewhere. Sounds good, Dad. I'm really hungry. But sorry, I'm not going to get changed. It doesn't matter. What matters is the kind of person you are, not what you look like. Thanks, Mom. All right, and now let's go.